Fellas, y'all are sleeping on monochromatic colors. So whether you are new or experienced with colors, I guarantee you by the end of this video, you're gonna walk away with a new perspective on styling your clothes. Let's get it. So you might have some questions. What is monochromatic? Why monochromatic? You might've heard of a term called achromatic. What is that? Johnny's got you. Take a look at this. What makes it monochromatic? Correct. Everything is the same color, but not exactly the same color. These are all different shades, tones, and hues, but I want you to forget about those words. You can look them up later if you want. These are all part of the same family of colors. This is also good product, by the way. You should pick it up. Now I did mention achromatic earlier, so what is that? If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you guys would know I love the grayscale spectrum. That's exactly what achromatic is. It's the absence of color. And so technically, if you desaturate a monochromatic family, you're going to get the grayscale spectrum. Achromatic is monochromatic, so I'm just going to stick to the term monochromatic. So why monochromatic, you ask? Well, because it shows intention with your outfit. It looks like you tried a little bit. But also when you do this, it actually restricts you and your wardrobe and it forces you to be more creative. Some of the best movies all time were created with a limited budget or limited technology and it forced the creators to paint a different vision. And the same goes with your outfits. All right, so where should you begin with putting together a monochromatic outfit? Well, this is why I recommend grayscale so much. It's really hard to mess this up. This alone is going to help your style immensely. It's going to force you to be more creative and you're gonna focus more on layering, texture, contrast, and all that. Now, I've already made a whole entire video about this. It does need an update though, but to summarize it, grayscale is a great foundation to add a pop of color. A lot of people aren't comfortable with colors. Now that you got the grayscale down, I want you to take inspiration from everything around you. Your surroundings, products, posters, anything really. I really like looking at products because the people that develop products and the labels, the colors and all that, these people are way smarter than you and I and they've done a ton of research on color psychology and you can learn a lot from that and take inspiration and apply it to your fits. But if you're gonna go in raw, just stick to one colored piece. <laughs> just grab one colored piece and you're gonna build around that. Now here's a pro tip though, go with a pattern piece. Sometimes solids on solids can just be a little bit too much, especially if it's not done right, but a piece with multiple colors within the threading or the fabric or the pattern, it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna go with this pair of brown double knee denim. And so color wheel wise, this is basically orange with some black added to it. Part of the monochromatic family would be light brown. I can go for tan. So let's add this striped shirt with a light tan and light brown. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now if I did go for a standard tan or cream shirts, you can pull it off, but it can come off too basic unless you swap the texture or you're wearing a pattern like in this fit. So keep that in mind. It makes it a whole lot easier to wear. Of course, let's add some headwear. I have on this cap for my brand Choice Made. And footwear wise, we're going to go with these Fear of God and Adidas sneakers. It's got that nice light tan color and that there is a basic and perfect monochromatic fit. Give it a shot. Now let's talk about some hacks because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, I'm wearing blue today, so that means I have to wear blue shoes, blue underwear, dye my hair blue. That's ridiculous. I personally believe you can still wear white, black, or gray, and it'll still be considered a monochromatic outfit. After all, some of y'all got colored hair, my hair is black, some of y'all might have colored tattoos. It's really not that deep, okay? As long as the rest of your fit has that monochromatic look, it's Johnny approved. And also, when everything's so uniform and the same color, it just looks more bland. So you have to break up your monochromatic fit a bit. And what do I mean by that? So what I like to do is I like to wear something like white. Basically what I'm doing right now, this white tank top just pokes out a little bit. It adds some nice separation. So here's what I prefer. I love the white cap. I love white shirts and I love jewelry, which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Lupin. I've been wearing their pieces for several years already and I even designed a collection with them called the Ascend Collection. And within this collection, we have this beautiful necklace called the Ascend Necklace and we have the Ascend Signet Ring. Seriously, they've been selling Selling out like hotcakes. Y'all continue to support, they keep selling out, we restock it, they sell out again. It's really cool to see and I really appreciate your guys' support and I see y'all wearing them. Y'all look awesome. Some of y'all look too good in it, look better than me. Anyways, I deliberately chose to work with Lupin because they focus on quality. They don't skip out on it. Every piece is handcrafted in Korea from 925 sterling silver and all these pieces are minimally designed and can go with any outfit, any style, which just means more savings for your wallet. And so whenever it comes to monochromatic fits, jewelry adds a separate texture and shine to your fit, which makes your fit look more aesthetically pleasing. So you see right here how it adds a nice contrast to the main color, but still keeps the fit monochromatic. Now check out the rings. Sometimes with monochromatic fits, I like to wear a hoodie and you can't always show off your necklace. So rings are always a great piece to add that separation, that shine.
obviously I'm biased. I'm gonna recommend my Signet ring, but check out these stackable rings right here. This is the Together ring and the Trigram ring, but it doesn't matter what piece you get from Lupin, every single piece they have is going to elevate your fit that much more break up your monochromatic fit, make it look a whole lot better. And because Black Friday is coming up, y'all wanna take advantage of that. I know a lot of y'all have been holding off. This is a great time to pick one up. So what I want you to do is sign up for Lupin's newsletter. This is going to be the first place where you're gonna find out about their Black Friday deals. Remember, a lot of Lupin's pieces sell out, especially mine, because they're just that good. So once again, sign up for Lupin's newsletter. You're also gonna get notified for new collections, new drops, and seriously though, any of Lupin's pieces are going to make a great gift for yourself. If you wanna treat yourself or a loved one, you're not gonna be disappointed trust me so thank you lupin for sponsoring this video let's talk more hacks so white undershirts jewelry a white cap check me out here's a monochromatic fit without the white undershirt versus with it it's subtle but the white adds a necessary break from all the same colors going on and you'll see this in products all the time you have to have white text to be able to read the product the label black text as well if everything was just blue on this you wouldn't be able to read it the same way if your whole entire fit was blue your hair as well you wouldn't be able to read your outfit and it would just look weird now when it comes to prints and graphics you would still say this shirt is green right Correct, even though there's still brown in it, there's some tan, there's some little bit of specks of white, this is still considered a green shirt. Now that is just a guideline. The most important thing you have to do is experiment around with your pieces. With this fit right here, there are some green cargos that just didn't work with this jacket right here. And so now let me show you some monochromatic fits that work for me. So this first one is any colored pants and the corresponding pattern shirt of choice. And I want you to take all these fits as a template to try out. So in this case, I have this green striped tee, goes perfectly with my green pants, we got some accessories like jewelry and headwear to break up the fit easy and this template works with any graphic print or pattern for the next fit pick your pan of choice then the hoodie of choice that fits in the family and make sure you layer the hoodie over a white shirt this is going to work for any color it is a simple fit and you can spice it up with accessories but it really doesn't take too much thought to have a good fit now if you want to step up that fit even more with layers this is going to be your base layers where you throw on your colored jacket you see you definitely need that white for that little bit of separation and contrast to make your fit easy to digest and readable now this next template consists of the following color pants, color top layer, and any light under layer. So this could be cream, this could be white, this could be gray, but just make sure it's on the lighter side. As you guys saw earlier, when I did this with a brown tank top, this fit just didn't work as well as it does with the white one. And the final template involves your colored pants of choice as usual, but your top is going to be a light top. So in this case, we have a white oversized button up and then we have a matching colored vest that fits within the family. I'm also doing a light gray hoodie with a brown vest and I think it looks so good. As always, just experiment around. You can get a lot more complicated if you want. Want, this is just a good guide for you to get started. So fellas, that is how you can use monochromatic colors to create better outfits. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, happy holidays, check out Lupin, deuces.